guys, Dino here with another video, and today I will be doing a chess lesson. This lesson is for beginners, so if you're not a beginner, then I don't know, don't watch. This is just going to teach you how the pieces move. This piece right here could be known as a pawn. Round head, pretty short, and this guy right here, I'll show you on the chessboard, can move one space forward. One space. Unless it's be it's beginning turn right here. Then it could skip one space. Now it can't skip and skip. Only on the pawn's first turn it can skip. Now the way pawns attack is pawns don't attack straight. They attack diagonally. So if there's another guy diagonal from you, so like these two are, you can send your pawn and attack it. But beware, some people like to use pawns as bait. So you gotta be careful. In this case, this was a good move. Therefore, I could put it in check, which I could refer to later. Next piece I would like to review is the bishop. Bishop can move diagonally. Diagonally on its color. So clear in this case can only move on clear. Very useful piece if trying to attack and getting one in check. Check, people think, is a win game sometimes. Nope, it means you either have to move a key a piece to protect your king, or you have to move your king itself. Next thing I'd like to review is the knight piece. Knight piece, very useful. It can move in L shapes. So the way I like to think of it is one, two, three. Or like this, one, two, three, L shapes. Let me review that. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, two, three. Very useful piece. And now for the next piece. This piece is called a rook. People otherwise call them castles. They can move any place but diagonal. They can slide anywhere they want, but they cannot go diagonal. Nope, nope. No diagonal moving with a rook. Next up, we have the queen piece. This can move like the bishop and the rook combined. It can move diagonally, backwards, forwards, left, right. You get the idea. Very useful piece. You usually don't want people to capture this piece. Next up, we have the king. You can move straight, 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 across, 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 across. Cannot slide anywhere. Just a piece that can move around. Next thing I'd like to show you, useful tip, is um, castling. So the way castling works is there has to be a a clear place in between your king and your rook. And your king has to have its first move and your rook has to have its first move. They haven't moved yet. And there has to be these two open spaces. And your king cannot be in check. The way this works is it makes a castle for your king. You move your king two ways, grab the rook, put it in front. As you can see, my king is now more protected. Next thing I'm going to show you is check. Right here. Check is when a king is in danger. So, for example, that's a check. Can you find the next check? Three. If you can, then great for you. This, the next check I'm going to be showing you is this. The reason why this would be check is because in the L shape, 
Yeah, if the king is in check, and this only works f for the king unless you're checking the bishop or other piece, which isn't a game thing, is he can move right there and be safe. That's it for chess today, guys. See you guys later. Thanks for watching, and check out my other videos. And, yeah, Dino out.